Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus once again. And I'm so very glad to be able to bring this message to you today. And I hope you're excited about getting an opportunity to listen to it. When it's over, I hope you're filled with as much of joy and excitement having received it as it is coming from me, giving it to you. Today, I want to talk to you about some things that I've been witnessing for quite some time. And it's been affecting my heart. Every time I see it, I know what is happening. And God wants to do something about it. I'm glad today he's given me a message to share with you. Today I'm speaking on the subject matter, working too hard. Are you working too hard trying to make a living? Are you working two or more jobs just to make ends meet? Are you tired, worn out? Most Americans are, except the rich, and even less for the very, very rich. Why is this? Do you know? Don't you want to be rich? I mean, very, very rich. It would even be better if you were super rich. But I ask the question, why? Does it mean you wouldn't have to work so hard? Maybe have the luxury of stop working. You are not alone. The evidence is obvious by the millions of workers and non-workers that play the lottery, mega bucks and mega millions. Do you have any idea why you are in this disposition? Of course not. You are in this position because you were made to live a life where the joy of your chosen profession qualified you to live as though you were in heaven. Mm. All that you would want, need, and desire would be at your beck and call. You suffer your pains because you live as a slave, laboring for the one that robbed you of the life designed for you. My, my, my. Just to enhance the robber's power and wealth. Wealth that was robbed from the people and power to control the people. But how did this happen, you ask? It happened a long time ago, generations, hundreds, maybe thousands of years ago, by a deceiver who came upon the scene, exercising the plan of aggression. The plan convinced people that having all you need, want, and desire wasn't enough. The plan convinced them that they could have more, and with more, life would be grander, that they were entitled to more because they were better than others, deserved more, that they were superior to others, and were meant to be Lord over others. The deceiver, the robber had a plan to change the mode of operation of the social order. Up to this point, a person's career was the greatest benefit. It was the source of joy. Needs, wants, and desires met was a byproduct, something they never even thought of. The deceiver, though, had a scam that took focus off careers and directed it on money. It is to be the tool that distinguishes their superiority that would give them the satisfaction that they had. It started out small, but in time, the, the con spread. It spread to enough people to garner support and attention. 
eventually it became normal people lost their freedom in an effort to have more freedom and as these sellouts gained more others lost freedom and the ability to have their needs and their wants and their desires met this grew to a rate that poverty crept in upon the land bringing with it additional problems that caused many to steal to survive their peace their prosperity and joy was lost for for most which stimulated the motivation for lies cheating which brought on additional problems hate bigotry racism and eventually killings and war the scam replaced careers with a job ownership with debt and fees and interest and jail and prisons for those that did not conform to the state of slavery i have been sent to you yes i have been sent to you to give you the message of the scam that seduced you to remind you of the original plan whereby your joy your freedom your peace and your prosperity may return it requires that you resist the deceiver by discontinuing the focus on money and return to the focus on one another as brothers and sisters and neighbors employing the original principle of doing unto others as you have others do unto you the deceiver will be exposed and the deceiver will flee you will recognize the scam that it came from man but life real life comes from god the answer to human problems is a return to god let me repeat the answer to human problems is a return to god i also have a special message to the brothers and sisters that have low level jobs in grocery stores stocking shelves cashiers washing windows or cleaning toilets our father says do not be disappointed if you feel you can do a much better job or position that position will be open for you real soon however just remember those jobs toilet cleaning washing windows stacking shelves are as good as any job in the country and his plan will permit you to enjoy anything that any ceo can do mm -hmm. while doing these low level jobs and to my elderly sisters and brothers does god have a plan for you god wants you to enjoy your golden years travel and see the world get some plastic surgery if you desire no more posting your youth pictures fix up dress up go out and play go out to see plays go out to dinners and go out dancing and live again alzheimer's and dementia is on the table to be defeated as soon as we return to god's plan of love i'm thrilled to bring such wonderful news however it must be the choice of the american people love will not force itself on anyone but it must be available to all for god and god alone is the author of such a wonderful life god bless you thank you